Hey, what's going on? Tim, and today I wanted to go over the Hobie Outback 2019 edition. The brand new kayak I just picked up. Let's do it. Okay, so here is the Hobie Mirage Outback 2019 edition. Just a quick view. I didn't do too many crazy upgrades to it yet because I just got it yesterday. Spent most of the night last night trying to rig it all up and get it looking good. All right, so today is gonna be the actual overview of the kayak and all the features and everything that we know about it so far. So the reason why I wanted to do this review is I recently switched over from my Cabela's Advanced Angler 120, pretty much the same thing as a Big Fish 120, and upgraded to a Hobie Outback. Number one reason why I wanted to do this is one, the 2019 model, way better than the previous is in my opinion, which ultimately led me to take that jump into the Hobie realm, you know, paying out really, really a lot of money for a kayak. It's all worth it if it's something that's reliable and fits your needs. Second reason why I made the jump was ultimately because I recently moved down to Louisiana from Washington. I went from fishing smaller ponds and areas like that where the Big Fish 120, Cabela's Advanced Angle 120, they, they, they stood out in there. It was great, little pond hopping, perfect, perfect for that type of venue. Down here in Louisiana, I got a lot of bigger lakes. I got Toledo Bend, Sam Rayburn in Texas isn't too far away, multiple other lakes that are huge, and I can't cover water in that yak like I could in something with a pedal drive. That's why I ultimately wanted to make the switch. All right, enough of that. Let's go look at the kayak. Let's go ahead and work our way from the back to the front. Here on the back, you notice the very first thing is this handle right here. This handle was not here on the previous editions and there's a big reason for that. And that reason is laying right here on the ground. So this right here is a pretty much like an assist for when you need to put the kayak up on your car and it works pretty simple. All right, so you take this guy right here, you're gonna pop in right here at the bottom and then it should just click right in, all right? And then now you have a little assist here to help you lift it up and whatnot and put it on the car. But there is a main reason why this is here and that main reason is the rudder. As you can see with the rudder, the rudder itself is underneath the kayak. It is not on top, it's not something you drop down. It stays right underneath the kayak. That's the big reason why you need this, because otherwise, if you were to pick your kayak up and put it in the back of your truck or load it up, whatever the case may be, this rudder is gonna be banging all over the ground. It's gonna get messed up. So this is not a optional accessory. This is a necessity. It does come with the kayak, so no worries there. Moving down to the rudder. The rudder works on a pulley system like most others on Hobies. Ultimately, I really do like this rudder. I mean, I, I would like the rudder to be up here just so it's out of the way, but at the same time, I get it, I understand. So they put it down here. But the good thing about this rudder is if you were ever to run in any type of logs or fish in a lake that had a lot of down timber or anything like that and you smack into it, it just goes right back up. So it is retractable and it, lowers the risk of ultimately damaging your rudder. Continuing on through the back, you pretty much have these H rails right here, or some type of rail system. Uh, I believe they're called H rails. Now, you have it right here on this side, and mirrors over on the other side as well. And you could throw whatever sorts of attachments you want. Like me, I have a Scotty mount right here, because I like to keep one rod in the back. And it also comes with these, these bungees and ultimately it can help hold down whatever you got in your kayak like me i got my milk crate it's got another bungee system right here and one thing that i do like is for whatever reason you want it's got these retractable bungees right here and i'm using them just to hold my milk crate steady for now but they pop out they pull out they work on a pulley system and then you can just pop them on in anywhere you want and like i said i use them to hold my milk crate in not to mention you also have a couple holes on the side you know, it could be used for pliers, whatever the heck you want to hold back there. Looks like you got like a nice little hole for a some type of bait cutter, whatever. And it mirrors perfectly on the other side. And it also, you got two spots for it. So you got one on the, on the back end and on the front end. I use this one just to hold my net. It's the setup that I'm gonna go with for now until I start fishing more out of it and figure out what I want. For now, I have my, uh, Bump board just sitting back here, secured by the bungee straps. 
Not too sure where I'm gonna put it yet. Might figure it out. And then behind that, or should I say in front, in front of that, I got my NRS Chinook. Always have my PFD with me. If I'm ever fishing big lakes, I'm always gonna keep my PFD on me, wearing it, because you never know a crazy boaters around. Might knock you, hit you out. So always do wear your PFD if you're on a big congested lake. Little ponds and such where I know there's not gonna be any motorized traffic, I don't worry about it too much. I did bring over my Yeti onto the seat just as a back attachment because it doesn't come with one, but Hobie does have that option where you can buy a back seat attachment to store stuff if you don't have one already. Moving over. Before we get to the seat, you do have these little indented, you know, things inside the kayak. I don't really want to call it trays. And, you know, you could throw whatever the heck you want in there. Seat, I sat in it a couple times just to try it out. Seat is very comfortable. The only thing I don't like about it is it does sit very low to the ground, and that's different from what I'm used to my other kayak. I'm used to sitting a little bit more higher, having some more adjustability, so that way I can check out bass and it's a lot easier to stand up but standing up in this kayak shouldn't be an issue anyways but it does make it just that much more difficult if you got weak knees or any issues they got some reflectors here on the seat as well which is always good safety always first and the seat has these adjusting knobs on it so that way you can adjust your seat whatever way you want lumbar support any type of support that you want to make your seat comfortable I have heard from other people that these seats are very, very well made and they do not hold any memory. They stay tight, they stay firm, and they're good to go. The seat comes out pretty easy and how they do that is, is uh, literally you just lift up on the seat, lift up on it, pull out, and it comes right off. Underneath the seat, you have these nice handles, padded, uh, very comfortable, easy to use. Underneath my seat, uh, they do have some room, so I just put my little easy access tray. I really don't have much in there right now. And then, of course, I took some a chamois cloth just as a quick fix until I get something more permanent in here as a way to reduce noise. You got a handle mirroring on the other side. It's good to go. And then one of the other key things that a lot of people said they enjoy about this is that you have a rudder system within which steers your rudder on both sides of the kayak. All right? so. If you like right-handed, left-handed, whatever the case may be, you have that rudder system there available to you to use on either side. And one of the good things about this rudder system on having it on both sides is they are separate cables so they don't depend on each other. So if one does break, you're not screwed. You can go ahead and move to the other one. Continuing underneath the seat, you got another bungee just to hold things down. Like I said, I'm just using it to hold my chamois cloth and my machete for now. You have these welded in cup wells. These aren't bad, these are nice. Uh, from what I've seen, you can fit a tumbler easily in some of these. And you have a nice little smaller part right here, so that way you can fit something smaller if what you're drinking out of is you know, too small for the cup holders. Move up to these rails. This is one another one of the reasons why I really wanted this kayak, because of these rail systems. So they got that H rail system, and then they have these metal rails right here. So pretty much you got two sets of tracks that you're running off of, and as you can see, I use my right side pretty much for all my electronics because I'm typically casting off to the left side. So I set up my fish finder through here. I'll run my camera for recording purposes up here. And you got these nice little retaining straps that you just pull out and run through the rail so that way your stuff stays secure. You also got these nice little pockets in here and you could throw whatever you want. Like I got my scale and same thing as the back. You have like a bait knife, which I throw my scissors. You got a holder for your pliers, whatever the case may be. You have a nice perfect little mount right here. And that is to run your wires to your fish finder, uh, your depth finder, whatever you got working up here. So that way you can go ahead and be pretty much as wire free as possible. And it all gets ran through the bottom. So speaking of that fish finder, if you do want to run one, like I said, you'll run it through the bottom. It's very easy to do. It'll come off through here and run back into the hull. So that's the only place where it's exposed. And Hobie does a really nice job of giving you all these fittings so that way your wire, it pretty much stays watertight. And they have, oh man, I don't even know how many, probably 20, 30 different fittings to fit your wire snugly. There's a very good video on how to install your fish finder on this kayak. I'll go ahead and link it after the video. One thing that you notice is they have these pads that are already put on for your feet, pretty much standing. 
Now, you're not gonna be as versatile as a pro angler or even my old kayak, the Cabela's Advanced Angler. You're not gonna be able to move around nearly as much because it's not as wide, but it's still wide enough to stand on and a still a very stable kayak from what I've seen before. Over here, you got the Mirage Drive, which Hobie is very well known for. And you also got the reverse and the forward motions on this by just literally pulling these pulleys. Also, if you did want to run a fish finder on the other side, you have the same weld right there. So that way you can run your fish finder. I don't like using my left side, so that's why I put it on the right. Up here, keep going up, you got some embedded rod holders, which I do enjoy because this is where I like to put my rods when I am taking a fish off the line or maybe retying something. I'll use that often. They also have two on the back as well. I just don't really use those very much. Moving up here, you have your different pulley systems, all right? So on your different pulley systems, you got your transducer pulley, which is honestly mostly for if you've got some type of side scan. If you have a side scan, you just pull this and it retracts up the side scan into your boat so that way it doesn't get hit by anything. And over here, you got your rudder, which drops your rudder. When you pull it out, it brings your rudder up. Over here, you got your front hatch and all I did with it pretty much was it's nice and sealed off, should be watertight. And I just went in here and I'll throw my extra tackle that I might not be using permanently uh, on the day. I also threw in some of this uh, cupboard liner so that way it stays nice and quiet. And on the front, you got this T-handle and they also threw some reflective decals on here, which is very nice to have. Moving back over to the side, you have a paddle strap holder, which is also very nice to have. That paddle strap holder will hold your paddle in case you need it. Now the kayak does come with a paddle. I'm just not gonna use it because I really like my no limits paddle. I think it's a little bit better than the one Hobie provides, but the one that Hobie gives you is still not a bad paddle by any means. All right, so let's go underneath the boat. All right, so underneath here is what you're looking at is the Guardian system. And what that Guardian system is doing is it's protecting your depth finder, it's protecting the transducer, it's protecting your side scan. And like I said, this thing is made to, when you pull that pulley, this will actually get sucked up into the hull of the kayak. So that way you don't have to worry about damaging your side scan. If you just got a normal transducer, that transducer actually sits inside of here. You can take it apart, and like I said, there's a really great video on how to do that, and I will link it after this video. So the transducer pretty much sits up in there. Hobie gives you all the stuff you need to take that transducer to be able to put that in there, and it's great because there's no actual drilling inside of the kayak itself. So that way you can go ahead, take it out, replace it, and not worry about having any holes anywhere that weren't supposed to be there in the first place. With the kayak, I also bought a kayak cart. I bought the Hobie one. And I know some people don't like the, take this off. I know some people don't like the scupper kayak carts just because of the damage that can possibly do to your scuppers. But Hobie does reinforce all of their scupper holes, which is good. So that way you don't have to worry about it damaging. And one thing I do like about this is it comes out retractable. You pop this pin in and you can go ahead and lift your kayak up on your truck or whatever you're hauling it with and you don't have to worry about it falling out. And so that is the overall rough review, first impressions of the 2019 Hobie Outback. Like I said, I haven't taken it out in the water and very shortly here, you will see a video of me on the water testing out the stability, seeing how it fishes. I can't wait to get out on the water. It's gonna be a good time. Thanks for watching everybody. Tilly Fishing, out.